Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We have Embarking on an Adventure. I savour the wonders of the world. Let's see what we have with that. I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael message. What do we have for our lovely Capricorns? Thank you for the week. Message for Capricorn. Oh my goodness. We've got that door opening uh, image. Number one, all is in perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. The door is open. Feels like that kind of all systems go, 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 you know. Let's see what we have with that. What do we have for our lovely Capricorns? Thank you. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn for the week. Message for our lovely Capricorns for the week. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups. King of Swords. Nine of Wands. The Fool. The Tower. And the Devil. The Devil is a card of Capricorn in the Major Arcana, but... likely represents the Devil energy. But you understand, I mean... It, the energies of the King of Swords, the Tower and the Devil, you understand what you need to do. You understand what you need to, how you need to deal with the Devil and win. You know, that is the Capricorn energy. You see it for what it is. This is, this is you. Let's pull a card for the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords for Capricorn, thank you. Seven of Swords for Capricorn. We have the Lovers. This is a relationship at a crossroads. Yeah, Seven of Swords here, Capricorn. This can be to do with... Um, Seven of Swords can be a card of deception. I mean, for some of you, this could well be a third party situation as well. You could be choosing between two people. I mean, that can be the analogy here. Uh, for others, I mean, something going on beneath the surface, the Seven of Swords. Uh, you know, for others of you, this can be about betrayal in a relationship. Seven of Swords can be deception, betrayal, or someone doing something secretly, you know, which you kind of get with the devil, you know, um, especially when there's kind of things like addiction, uh, gambling, shopping, drinking, you know, spending too much, whatever that scenario would be, you know. Um, so this is this is the energy here, Capricorn. It can be Sometimes uh, some level of, of a choice between two people it could be a third party situation. For others of you, it can be to do with, um, yeah, it can be to do with 
someone doing something secretly and there's a choice because you're tired, you're, fe you're likely fed up. Um, I mean, you are fed up. The five of wands and the nine of wands, something's going to, it looks like something's happening this week where there's a conflict. And again, you're just thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth battling on, on this path? That's the energy here. Well, it looks like, it looks like it, you don't think it is. The fool and the ace of, of cups is, is liberation. Uh, this can be very good in terms of emotional renewal, uh, self-love, starting on a brand new path in terms of emotional renewal and rebirth, uh, because you just, there's conflict. You're always going round and round in circles, but the issue never gets resolved. Again, the five of ones can be just kind of like where you're just feeling there's a fundamental issue or problem that never seems to get sorted. It's always kind of that sense of two steps forward, three back. You know, and you're just tired, you're fed up, you've been tested enough. Likely it's happened more than once, and it might well be that there's some kind of conflict that might decide it for you this week. Um, it, it feels like there's liberation. Now, this can be, in a, it could be in a current standing relationship that it's not going well, that there's always a fundamental issue, you know, and you're constantly tested with a person. But you might have a choice, a chance of new love with somebody else. This would also apply. So again, it's either a choice between two people or it's about a relationship and uh, liberating from it and starting a brand new adventure in self-love, emotional rebirth, renewal. Because the tower, the devil, it's, it's liberating from the devil, you know. This is that sense of, I mean, you know, technically this is the destruction of ego, you know, that's what these cards mean. So this is the energy here of, of um, you liberate from it, uh, that the King of Swords is, is being in truth and making the right decision for you in truth. I see it all clearly now. I know what I need to do. I have perspective and I'm true to myself in what I need to do in making the decisions in moving forward. It's letting it all fall down, letting something fall down because it's not working for you. It's a repeating negative cycle. The devil can be to do with, um, it can be to do with uh, something that's unhealthy in your life, you know, uh, whether it's somebody who has an addiction, codependency, a behavioral pattern that doesn't serve your highest good. Um, it is that kind of energy here, you know, uh, manipulation, controlling, you know, jealous behavior, whatever that behavioral pattern is. But it's become too much of a thing. You know, this is the energy here where I'm just tired and fed up. We're constantly going round and round and round in circles and we're not on the same page. And again, there's a chance of moving forward on a brand new path, self-love or embracing new love with someone else. And this might well be you're true to yourself and you'll say, I have a chance of a brand new path. The cup of joy is, is available to me now and I'm going to take it, you know. This is the scenario here. This is embarking on a new adventure, either embracing emotional renewal and rebirth with you, liberating from this whole situation, could be in terms of a relationship. For others of you here, Capricorn, there is the chance of new love and it might well be you've been tested one too many times in a, in a uh, could be a, a longer standing relationship and you're just letting it all fall down to embrace what you have an opportunity to embrace the new love, you know? So, I mean, however that manifests for you, this can be you, emotional renewal and rebirth. This is a new chapter opening up. The Fool is, I'm opening up a new chapter, a new door, a brand new door. It's a big new door. It is a big new adventure. And I'm taking that chance and I'm taking that leap of faith and I'm going to go for it. Um, because you realize it's time to liberate from something that's not serving you. Big energies, big energies, but... It's guiding you forward to new joy, new happiness, new emotional fulfillment. And also you take the learnings of what this has been and understanding, you know, understanding what you're looking for now on that basis as well. If you're going in search of new love or open to whatever comes your way, this can be the energy here too.
Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. As the final message, what do we have for Capricorn? We have protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Yeah, I mean, you are protected. That's what you're... And also self-preservation, self-protection as part of this energy. It's a big reading, Capricorn, but it leads to new happiness and joy. Have, I mean, this is lovely. That's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.